Welcome Spoilers. to the spoiler section where we talk about this film. Uh, can okay, we shit all over it in the review because yes. it deserved it, mm -hmm. and uh, we're not exaggerating. I think some of you know people critics I respect are like, you know what? It's not that bad, but it's not that good either. No, it's it it's was. Just bad. I I was like, you think they're afraid of saying anything? I I don't know. I, I think don't that. Know. I, I, people whose opinion I respect and who know that they, that, you know, they would, would complain about Transformers and, and then they, uh, this is awful and say that this is better than Ghostbusters 2. No, no. What's with you? Oh, you, uh, no. I think they're no. just afraid. I think they're afraid to speak their minds about this movie. What could we spoil here? So the, the, vinyl villain, the final villain of the film, well, first off, this movie was spoiled in the trailer. It was. That's the one thing to point out, and I kept telling Joe. I saw the trailers when I went to go see uh, Central Intelligence. It was the one that I saw the last movie. By the way, great movie. Go see it. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> but, um, no, I went to go see there, and in the final trailer they released, they show off the fact that their intern gets fucking possessed by the main villain who was dead, and you get to see him possess the guy. Yeah. So when I saw that guy on screen, I was like, oh, that guy becomes a ghost. Not, and, not that this film, like, we're worried about spoiling it because it turned out to be a really true. awful film, but... The villain of the film is a guy named Rowan. He's a, a bellhop that works at a hotel, and apparently he's been bullied his life in his life. So and so he wants to bring the fourth cataclysm uh, and bring the form of the destructor. And somehow he well he kills himself, and he turns into a ghost. But how he doesn't cross over, how he gets superpowers and like, that, else like that, he becomes as powerful as Gozer. Yeah. But he's just he's what. No, that's fucking oh, stupid. And it was just and, like he, and then he, at one point nice. he says, you know, choose the form of the destructor, and and they throw out legitimate ideas that would make him harmless, and he ignores them. And and Patty's character is the one, or Patty says, uh, something cute and friendly, something cute, something cute and yeah. friendly, like the, the logo, or did, doesn't she just say the Ghostbusters logo? No, no, she oh, that little ghost. No, she just says something cute and friendly. And, and then, then he goes like, like this. Okay. He goes like this. Like this, and they're yeah. like, "Yeah, I'm okay with that." And then, then he turns, not small, just big and mean, and and. But he turned into a cartoon. Yeah, he turned into a cartoon what first. What the fuck was that about? I, I was don't like, know. What the fuck? Why would he turn into a cartoon and then back to CGI? The film is like a like, mind what is going fuck. On? It is. It's literally a mind fuck. There's so many things that make no sense. At one point. Uh, okay, so let's let's talk about the climax of the film. Uh, Rowan says, "Meet the real New York, or meet the old school New York." And then I guess the gangs of New York come out uh, like ninjas of the the steam with this one circus They're tall circus. skinny guy. Yeah. What? Okay, fine. And so then they fight like ninjas. They turn into superheroes, even though they have no. Military training, no marksman training. They turn into these perfect shots. When in the original film, the Ghostbusters would they literally would hit everything, everything except for the ghost because they were amateurs. Yeah. And you believe they were amateurs because of what they're doing. And this turns into a comic book movie, a cartoon. It's fucking stupid. So stupid to see. And it's just visual nonsense and and cgi and neon lights and these adults are laughing and they're lapping it up and it makes me so depressed to see mass audiences just get conned into thinking that this is fucking cool shit whenever i see what stuff happened like to this, good filmmaking no whenever i see stuff like this all i had to tell myself is people liked honey boo boo and that was on tv for like three years there's a point where there's it, it, it gets so stupid, it's so repetitive, like they have no idea what they're doing. There's one film where they open and they zoom in on the Ecto-1 license plate and they, they, are, they, they open where they're sitting in the car and they're like, this is awesome! And then they drive off. And then later on in the film, there's a scene where the garage opens, this is awesome! It's the same fucking the same scene, same just with seat. one less Ghostbuster in the back seat. Yep. And, it, and they do the same thing. And I was like, who set up this shot? And did he forget that he just did? that shot no. a while ago uh, they didn't and watch it they're like all right it's done just print 
And I love it. It has, so, it has the biggest Deus Ex, ex Machina yeah. I've ever seen. So ghosts are pouring out. They do. Okay, hold on, hold on. Before that, she, this 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 girl out of nowhere, she's like, where where did that haunting happen? And it's like, oh, at seventh and and tenth, seventh and tenth. Wait a minute. Where was that other haunting? Uh, over here. So she, she gets out of map and she crosses. The other haunting's here. And then another haunting here. And, it, and there's no fucking pattern to it at all. No pattern. There's no pattern. And then she draws like there's a pattern. And you're like, there's still no fucking pattern here. You just made an X. You made you, an X. Are you saying in the middle of the X there's something going to happen? And then they actually need to get a, a, a fictional made up books and, and the a exact same X. Oh, the landlines. The landlines. The landlines of spirits. The, the exact. <laughs> and they overline it. And so, oh, that's why. So so he opened up the middle of the landlines of the spirit world. It's fucking stupid as hell, but okay, fine. Then all the ghosts come pouring out. It's a ghost army of destruction. We're going to pester the living. We're going to pester them pester. to death. Yeah. You know, that kind of shit. And, and so it opens up. There's ghosts all over the place. But no, all they have to do is Slimer steals the Ecto-1. He drives off. So then they have to walk the rest of the way, fighting. No, not walk. They like. Kinda what did What did they wobble. think they were gonna do? They have four proton packs with l perhaps limited energy, a few pistols and shotguns and ghost chippers and Grenades. shit, and they're going to fight an army of thousands upon thousands. They of only ghosts. ever fight like twenty. And, and <laughs> it, it, okay, so so this happens, and then Slimer just conveniently drives back he to where they are around. having fun in with Slimette now. There's a female Slimer now. And he's got more ghosts and, as passengers. Like, ghost and everybody's having a party. Out the window. And Woo! then one of the person's like, well, we could use that. It's basically a nuclear bomb. There's two... And then it shows. It literally shows There's like, oh, these are two bomb. nukes. And so the mass audience is like, oh, nukes. Okay, cool. That makes sense. Dude, that makes sense. Nukes kill ghosts. So, so then somehow they're like, okay, this is the only way to close this portal and, and and you know what it'll do? It's a complete reversal. Subatomic platonic reversal. When you whatever she shit, said. it sucks. Actually, from the original film, right? They, but where, when you could cross the streams. And now you don't need to cross the streams. You just need to throw the Ecto-1 and its nuclear bomb into it in order to accomplish this. And so they... And so... I guess upon hearing this, Slimer decides, I'm going to save myself because for no reason he drives into the hall. Into the new call. After that, I'm like, okay, well, how are they, go how are they going to get the Ecto, how are they going to get control of the Ecto-1 from Slimer and his party of and ghosts? He goes, no, he just drives in there for them, and, and then they fire. They're like, okay, aim for the nukes. On the Ecto one, and all four girls have perfect aim. And they shoot. Not only kids. perfect aim, <laughs> but arcing perfect aim. And and I I'm watching the yeah, Ecto yeah, one go in this home while the arcs <laughs> follow it perfectly and hitting that one spot on the Ecto one, and then the Ecto one explodes, and then every and then the green turns into red, and the red sucks all the ghosts back. That's how nukes home. work. They kill and ghosts. The explosion. Explosion turns into arms. <laughs> so apparently there's another ghost entity where after you yeah, activate him, he brings like, everybody ah. back in. And so Rowan, who turned into this big fucking logo with this bow tie, where did the bow tie come from? I don't know. Where did the fucking bow tie Basically, come from? What happened oh, was, it was he, to be cute. he crawled out. And he the made the little bow tie to be this, cute and cuddly, yeah. and then he turned mean. Okay, fine. So Stupid. then he's like, "Oh no, there, he's too big." This platonic reversal, and the arms can't bring him Wait. into the hole, so we have to shoot him. I remember where the bow tie came from. Her very first outfit. They even pointed out way at the beginning of the movie. World's smallest bow tie, and they even make a little point of this. So stupid. It was so yeah, that was a terrible connection. <laughs> That's where it's from, though. No, it's, it's the not. same bow tie. No, it's fucking not, though. No, it's not the same bow tie. It's God damn it, you just ruined my point. <laughs> Basically, what I'm trying to tell you, see, the movie has made you stupider for having watched it. <laughs> it is the same you bow tie. Stupider for having watched it. But anyway, so they. Uh, I can't even remember what. So they shoot him in the fucking nuts. Yeah, all of them. They shoot him in the balls. All of them were like, oh, let's that's where we were supposed to shoot, right? right? Fuck, man. In their right balls. In the balls. What the fuck was Hilarious. that? About? And he's like, he's oh, like, oh my, I'm a ghost. My ghost balls. My ghost. Yeah. I turned my ghost balls. He's like, no. Oh. My Ghostbusters logo balls. 
Because all logos have balls. <laughs> I don't even have legs but my balls. And so that he flies into the, but not before grabbing Melissa McCarthy. So he's like, ah, and he grabs Melissa yeah. McCarthy and she goes uh. into the, the astral plane and it's just green and it's the, whoa. And then no, Melissa's character, what's her the character's name? Abby. 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 Abby's like, no, my friend. So she grabs a wire, whatever, from her trap and she, you know, grabs it and she's running. And even though there's like, you know, concrete rebar and, and benches and shit floating around and somehow none of them seem to hit her, she runs headlong into all this debris and jumps into the astral plane and having no idea what it'll do to her and rip her apart, but she goes into the astral plane and then she turns into fucking Ghostbuster Superman, Superman. and she's flying and, oh, so and she's Aaron. like, whoa! And there's, there's this effect, like she's moving so fast and she's, she's not even and I'm like, what the it fuck was is so that? Bad. Green screen, dude. <laughs> it was the worst green screen I've my ever seen. My eyeballs are melting and my brain is melting through my ears. And she's flying and she's like, I got you, Melissa. And she grabs Melissa and she goes, I'm sorry I left you behind. I'll never leave you behind again. And then they, and then they explode. And their hair and candy comes, comes from their bodies. What? And I don't then, remember that part. <laughs> but that's what this movie was like. It was. It was like, uh, he turns into a fucking cartoon, Joe. The villain turns into a fucking cartoon. Okay, and so she grabs her and she pulls her back through. And here's another thing. She pulls her back to the portal and their hair turns white. For no reason. For no fucking reason at all. They're like, oh. No, they don't even talk about it. They're like, whoa. And, and then it. the next scene. Like, what year is it? They don't even make mention of it. And then, and then they're like, they get new hair color in the very next scene. One hair, oh, your hair's like Garfield, huh? Uh, uh, you colored your hair. Uh, well, why did you turn white in the first place? Be I don't know, was, I don't know. Tell me why her no, hair turned no, white. It was, it was for the mile a minute jokes. That's all it was for. But it, it was, didn't look. Can't handle it, that's cool. why. That was like, it was like some grip was walking by and was like, hey, wouldn't it be cool if their hair turned white right now? And they were like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, dude. What the fuck? It, Is it because girls like to change their hair color all the time? Are they trying I, to say something sexist about women? <laughs> look at, oh, their hair is so cool. Look, it's white right now. That's so cool. Oh, now it's it's orange. She turned like Garfield. <laughs> so but not the well, cat. You're being color. fucking sexist to your own audience. I don't understand why their hair changed color and they did nothing with it. Why? <sighs> There's so much in the movie that had no point. And then. And then everybody in the city is like, did that really happen? Did none of you have fucking cameras? No, Nobody they all had cameras. A cell phone. They all had cameras, but I, I love the reaction. This film like, is going to kill me. It literally is going to kill me. What was the last movie you freaked out really bad about? I, I, don't, I don't know, but all I know is this film is fucking garbage. And it is a complete insult to the Ghostbusters franchise. And there has to be some... Okay, I'm... Uh, oh my god. It's awful. It what well, were the jokes that made me laugh, though? Because I remember that was funny. There were like three to four jokes. Was it when Melissa had the proton pack? And she was like trying Flying to... Flying around with like... Yes, yes, okay. okay. So they go and test these proton packs of these... Te the literally incredibly dangerous technology. That just And they're just people. firing off in the behind back. An and she's flying... <laughs> she's behind an alley. <laughs> That was legitimately funny. There's one good joke in the film. Uh, the Holtz character who built the machine is like, all right, so what you want to do is you want to bend your knees because there's going to be some kick. And so Melissa's like... <gasps> <laughs> and she holds on. She she holds on. on. And her legs look so weird. That <laughs> <laughs> and Patty's character, or Patty goes, <laughs> she didn't, <laughs> she didn't bend her knees bend right, knees. The way, right way or something. And she's still... But why is it she's holding the fuck? Totally cool. Yeah. Death beams like, going I everywhere. I would have been running. Seriously, I would have been running. She's like shooting everywhere. Every and, and just like, oh my god. Look and at like her. repeatedly, she's like, this could kill you. There was one point where they're in this concert and the guy's like, there's ghosts on the loose. Go find them yourself. I'm sure you'll run into them. And they do run into this ghost after the mannequin turns into the demon that we were talking about. It runs off and they're chasing after it. And they're firing in this hallway. And you see this shot in the trailer, but they're firing in the hallway. And I swear to God, they have no 
no regard for each other's lives no, or friendly no. fire. And I remember uh, yes, I even saw Patty's like, 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 what the fuck? Like, what are you doing? It's just, I would be like, it's a fucking cartoon. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Man? And every time they That's pulled like, out their proton guns, they looked like they had no idea what the fuck they were doing in the life. <laughs> Uh, I thought I was the only one that noticed it. I was like, what the fuck is she doing? And there's little no Fisher Price <laughs> fucking Christmas lights on their backpacks. <laughs> why was there a dragon? Did anybody want to ask why there was a dragon? It just was like a it dragon. It was the stupidest fucking character design. Who made these character designs? I hired a 12 year old to draw ghosts and they used it immediately. They, that was like, yes. This is fucking awesome, kid. They were like, we're gonna make this the next Slimer. Everybody's gonna love this dragon character so much. No. And then the metal people were like, <laughs> uh, it's Satan. <laughs> it's coming. So that was one joke that was funny. The second joke was when the, the, the demon was on her, she's like, I'm tired now, I'm going home. But I laughed at that a little yeah. bit in the trailer. I even gave it credit in the trailer. But there was like one more joke. Thing. We're telling you the joke so you don't have to go out and see it. So that you could just laugh at that idea. Or I'll show that scene to you in the future if I can. I hope it's in one of the clips. If not, don't waste your money. This, this is that you're done. You, you got everything out no. of the movie. There had to have been one more. I'm trying to think. Like Chris didn't really do anything. So And, and this Kevin. Kevin's character was so yeah. annoying. So stupid. So unbelievable. And you're supposed to think that this, this, this very advanced physics scientist turns into... Uh, a, a baby when Kevin's in the room. She yeah. turns retarded. She turns stupid. And he's supposed to be this web designer that can't operate a fucking phone. It's fucking dumb. He's really, so really dumb. stupid. And, and, and then... Like, on top with it. Yeah. Yeah. And, okay, so then... Adele, talk about this scene. Because I, I'm talking too much. The scene where what about the, the boss fly. Okay, so now all the cops see everything's legit. They got the military. Oh, the military I'm talking about up. this. Yes. And then he floats down like Jesus Christ. Okay, oh. so this guy that kills himself by electrocuting himself with no explanation as to why he has these powers somehow can control himself as a ghost, figures out how to possess people instantaneously, possesses Kevin, drives. Kevin, for some reason, all the way back, activates the apocalypse, and then because he activated the apocalypse, he has the power, for no explanation, to control everyone. And he doesn't just... In the world. He, everyone in the world. He, the whole army's there, the cops are there, the police, like, the FBI's there. But not the world, but these 50 yeah, people. There's like 50 soldiers, and all he does is go... And he's like... And they're all, they all go like... And then the they, yeah, and, and the so I'm like, what the fuck is this? And then the Ghostbusters show up, and he doesn't control him. He doesn't what even try to. End of the movie, right there. He could have literally the just had them went. shoot each other, and it would. Why over. couldn't he control them? Because every single soldier there were all men. Is that why he can't control? No, there the was women? a few women cops. There were oh, a few they, women cops that I were controlled. I didn't see that. I didn't. But see there were that. a few women cops that were controlled, and the stupidest thing of all this is the fact that in the credits they had this whole dancing scene done oh. with them, and they explained it for like comedy. But no, purposes. that scene is done. No, that made no sense because they all fell down, and then he, and then the villain was defeated. They cut it. And. And so, where did this credit scene fit into the overall I think movie. as soon as he did the pose thing, they were going to just have him do that for like 30 seconds as a comedic thing. And they were like, nah, it's too much. That's over the top. It's Put it in much. the credits. Put it at the end. And they, they legitimately had all these soldiers and everything doing like thriller and shit. And they like were doing this dance number, right, this like fucking retarded version of thriller. Yeah. And they hired real... You know, like fucking dance moves and and real performers, and they were going crazy. And I was like, what? What am I watching? And as he's doing this, Crim's Hensworth is manipulating the credits as well. And yeah, I, 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 he was so powerful, he could have killed everyone like that. And he just lets them win. How did he get that powerful? He wasn't a demon. He you know, demon. you you have all these really interesting things from the He's Ghostbusters bully, lore. You have fucking Figo. <laughs> it was and nerd you, rage. And you have fucking Zool. And you have fucking oh, Gozer. God, and these mysterious things where it's like slightly scary. You have no idea how they're going to react or predict them. And are they demons? And the, what world? Do they know Satan? Are they friends with Satan? Did he give them some power? You know, just all these different cool things. And now you just have this bully guy who gets the powers of fucking Gozer. And Basically God. Yeah, God. he's like and, a God. And then so these guys get up and leave. Like the second the movie's over these guys get up done. and leave I was done. and I was like I was like well, I saw Joe, the ending you better not done. drive off without me because I was like I need to see if there's something after the first off I need to see the stupidness of these this credit so that I, I can tell people about it at home. The and then I needed to see if there was a post credit scene and, and my 
God, there is a post credit scene. As, as if they're going to do a Marvel franchise. That's what they want. Sony wants Ghostbusters, these girls and these Ghostbusters, to be their uh, superhero film. That's good. why they did all these things. It's awful. And then, so what do they do? Patty's listening to tapes that they found from before. Because they mentioned these tapes, these audio recordings, these ESPs, right? Yeah. But they never actually play them. No, and so do. Patty listens to them later, and for some reason, Patty's the one who has no scientific knowledge, who has no training in it. She's the one that noticed, oh, that's so weird, guys. And they're all like, what, what, Patty? It's so weird. Who is Zool? I thought it was and then the, and then the, And then it goes to black. It, that, that is the hooker for the next film? Zool. Who is Zool? It, it's so disingenuous. It's so insulting. It insults it's the like, shit out of the franchise. And if y'all don't know who Zool is, Zool is a servant of Gozer. It was one of the, the demon dogs. Uh, Zool was the uh, gatekeeper yeah. uh, that, that Keymaster got together with and had sex that opened up the portal <laughs> to hell or allowed Gozer to come through their unholy union. And, you know, just all these, you know, uh, there's a lot of undertones of really evil stuff in the Ghostbusters, but they never let that really yeah. come to the top. And uh, they definitely didn't let it come to the top here. Nope. Except for just straight up murder where two, three, four people died. So, yeah. Great. And, and fucking... <clears throat> and... Uh, and that's and we need to talk about this. The person that died in the film. The first person that dies in the film, Bill Murray. Bill Murray has one of the most insulting uh, cameos, and it makes me wonder, did, did he hate Ghostbusters? He probably, it seemed like he hated the original Ghostbusters. Because he is a skeptic, and maybe they thought it would play for laughs really well, but it doesn't. It, it doesn't. was like, it's just offensive. this character is stupid, this character is awful, it, it feels jammed into the film, and it's like this, this like you can even see how the actresses really respect him, and they, yeah. and they treat him with this sense of respect that, that is more... The actresses are there's there's Bill Murray, yeah. not not the character in the film, but that's, but that's, that's Bill, Bill Murray. Murray. Yeah, and and he doesn't believe that we're real Ghostbusters, so we need to show him. I'm gonna prove to Bill Murray that we're real Ghostbusters. <laughs> he opens up the trap, and oh, nothing happens. But the demon comes out, grabs Bill Murray, slams him through the fucking window, and he, he fucking dies. He, he falls died. three floors and slams into the ground in a yeah. bloody mess. His brains go everywhere. His guts fall out of his ears. No, that doesn't happen <laughs> in the film, but that's probably what happened on the ground. And they it just cuts to cops story. asking them questions. This guy got murdered by a ghost. You're not under arrest or anything. You're telling us he got murdered by a ghost? A ghost threw him off here? Okay, cool. You're not cool. under You're arrest. Just, and then the mayor's yeah, yeah, guys cool. show up and they're like, hey, come yeah, with you us. Come with us. Uh, you, know, you know Bill Murray who just fucking died? He's dead on the side of the street. Did you do that? No. Oh, he was. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> he was also a critic of them and making them look bad, and that's like motive for them to murder him. And the cops are like, "Yeah." So Bill Murray's uh, cameo was fucking stupid as hell. Uh, Janine has a cameo. Janine's character uh, as the receptionist for the Ghostbusters, the one that actually fucking had good character. Yeah. And she had better character in the cartoon where she even became a Ghostbuster herself. Yep. Uh, but Kevin is so much shittier than her character. She was a receptionist now at the hotel and she was still given her like no nonsense Brooklyn mm, type yep. style where that's a strong female character. Yeah, you that know? is. And, and then uh, the other cameo was Dan Aykroyd. Yeah, Dan Aykroyd was a cab driver because they lost their Ecto-1 to Slimer. They, they needed to get places faster. They tried something. to grab a cab to go somewhere. And Dan was like, well, where do you want to go? And she tells him, he's like, ah, that's like one or two streets further than I want to go. You know, just typical well, cabbies yeah. kind of thing. And, and uh, she's like, why did you And she's like, can't you see this? And he's like, yeah, just typical class five papers. Nothing to worry about. Like, like he, he almost knows. kind like of knew. knew. Yeah. And I was like, oh, is this, is this a, maybe that's Ray? But it's not Ray because, you know, yeah. it, it's definitely not Ray. It's just a cabbie. And, uh, he's like, I ain't afraid of no But ghosts. you can tell that's that Dan Aykroyd. He drove oh, yeah. And he's yeah. like, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. He drives off. Yes. I was like, that, that was the other awesome moment of the this movie, and this is a guy that you could tell has passion about it. And You know what the most fucked up part is? You guys were playing the Ghostbusters video game, and their 30 seconds of story at the beginning of the game had a better plot than this movie. Yeah. That they had established, ever since the events in New York or whatever, they had established a fucking group of Ghostbusters, like an actual army, and they were sent out to deal with this, and they even referenced things that happened and everything. And it would have been so cool if they just took that from the movie, used that story that they're the second generation, they have Ghostbusters all over the United States, this is following them in their footsteps, 
But they did it in the video game instead of in the movie. Yeah. It's fucking terrible. Yeah, it, it, it's... Uh, uh, and that game is shit. And you were going to so get a... a we'll, we'll try to do a review of it. But it's so bad, it's bad. It's not so bad, it's good. It's just boring. Uh, and, and this film is so bad if that it's bad. last cameo... It's just oh, so Gordon Ernie Weaver. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, there's two more. Ernie what? Hudson, too. Fuck, Ernie Hudson. Ernie Hudson. Go ahead. Ernie Hudson actually turns out to be Patty's uncle that er that pretty much owns uh, the Hertz. The yeah. Hertz. He's yeah. like, all right, I'm, I'm here to collect my Hertz. He's like, well, we don't have it anymore because it went to the fucking portal. He's like, well, I got funerals to go to. I got three bodies I got to bury, or three or four bodies. I thought it would be cooler if his yeah. cameo, but like, his cameo sucks. I can't do it on the one. He's like, well, maybe you can jam-pack them in. No, I'm not going to jam-pack him in. You're sort of and how, with how old Ernie Come is, I, Ernie at this point in this universe, well, he's not the old Ghostbuster, but you could have seen that they could have easily had him yep. be a Ghostbuster and be that uncle to Patty, like, you know, yeah. handing down the Ghostbusters equipment. And, yeah, if they want to build all their gadgets and use new equipment, then say that this equipment's more powerful, right? They could have... And um, then and then maybe the ghosts destroy all their new badass equipment and they have to use the old equipment and they bring out the old ones and oh my god that they could have so easily cool. set up the entire story. They're all their kids. You have like the daughters of all these these people from the original Ghostbusters have like fucking some boss guy come out kill their fathers to hand it over, motivate them. You know they kept that away from them their entire lives or something and have them take up the mantle to avenge. Well, I think they were just shit. too scared because Harold Ramis actually did pass away and yeah. they think that maybe it would be insulting to to kill off all the original Ghostbusters. But it would have made a great but, but, story. But you know, yes, it, it's a sad thing that he passed away. But I think it does him more justice if he gets to live on in the universe. Yeah. He doesn't get to live on in this Ghostbusters universe. He's gone. He's wiped away. And know? then they also uh, say basically at least in this timeline. Yeah. There, there is one weird thing. I could have sworn. I saw a bust, like a bronze bust in Princeton or whatever university of Harold Ramis, like as remember. a scientist or something. I, think I, I know I saw something like that. So Harold Ramis kind of exists in this universe, but he's like a, a scientist of some kind, but we never see him. In, obviously, we never see him, but he's never made reference in the film. But yeah, uh, so that that's it. This film is awful. It really is bad, and I'm not, not exaggerating. It. And it it's hurts. really bad. It hurts to see this as a fan of Ghostbusters. I, I I hope that you agree with me. If you've seen the film and you agree with me, leave a comment and let me know I'm not crazy. And, and oh, there, you're crazy. There, there's good films out there, and there this are. is not one of them. This is like worse than Transformers. I'd rather watch all the Transformer films than, than this shit again. You strong man. You're strong man. Yeah, well, it's awful. So... Uh, I, I want I want to end this by kind of saying that they could have done it justice, and it it's not really due to the actresses. They're 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 wonderful performers, uh, they're talented people, but the script, uh, the villains, the the writing, the characters, uh, the characters not having the chemistry, and, and the situations just not just so not so awful. And uh, <clears throat> here I'll I'll write a better Ghostbusters movie right now. Is there are Ghostbusters, like you said, a yep. Ghostbuster army all across. After the events of New York, everybody yep. knows that ghosts do exist, and yep. people have researched it. And so there are chapters, and the government has uh, cooperated with these chapters, and they're very elite, yep. right? And so far, the daughter of, of the Ghostbusters, uh, you know, let's say Peter Venkman and yep. uh, uh, Dana have a kid yep. together. Uh, first, there's there's Oscar. Oscar could be in a, a Ghostbuster in this universe. That's true, yeah. Uh, but then they also have a daughter together. Yep. And this daughter could the be female. Melissa McCarthy, yep. right? And then uh, maybe, uh, so obviously, Holtz could be uh, Egon's daughter yep. uh, with Janine. Uh, and that's why she's so damn smart and can create all this technology. And let's say that... Not everybody has to be connected via family, yeah. but we could still use the Ernie as her uncle because yeah. you know they already did that in the film. So Ernie, you know, is is in the film, and and he has uh, you know his niece, and then 
the this villain of the film, maybe it's a new demon, yeah. or maybe it's Zool, because they were alluding that maybe Zool... Zool so back. Zool was the serious demon and doing his job, being a servant of Gozer. Gozer fucking dies, but maybe Zool survives, and Zool replaces Gozer, and that's why... And Zool has more power. So uh, Zool gains basically an army of evil, evil the army of dead, demons, yeah. and somehow uh, with... The mass audience knowing that ghosts exist, people start to worship ghosts, or there are Satan worshippers. Yeah. They're like, see, I fucking knew this shit was real. Yeah. There are demons. If I pray to that demon, I will get powers. Yeah. And so those people help open up the rift, and so an army pours out, and all the Ghostbuster chapters are overwhelmed. You yep. see small scenes of them trying to put these ghosts back where they're supposed to be, but everybody gets overwhelmed, and the daughters have to... You Step know, it up and basically the use all the old equipment yeah. and go at the heart of it because the the villain finally reveals himself. Zul reveals himself, makes himself vulnerable yeah. because he's gloating. He thinks that he's, making fun he's of finally won. Time. And yeah. so these girls need to go and stop him. And of course, through all of this, there's the comedy and and just the the, the togetherness. Way and if they would have been serious, <laughs> way, way better. Been better. Been it would have been a serious, like a really serious movie at times because people would have died when they got overwhelmed. You could have tied in like you know the uh, the nostalgia from the previous one. Maybe have like one of them die or one of the old ones die or something. Just tug at the heartstrings and make it serious. Make it like a really involved emotional movie. Yeah. And they were just like nah, fart jokes. Yeah, fart jokes. Fart jokes. And SNL skits and loud yelling and st racial stereotypes. It's awful, guys. That's it. Thank you for for watching this super long yeah. thing and and uh, yeah, it's a travesty. We'll watch another movie. A travesty. We'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys.